Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Janners on Tour. Today is the 23rd of October 2018 and another massive game awaits us tonight. So it is currently uh, almost 10 in the morning. Um, I'm just up early on half term from school, from working at school uh, this morning to go home park and get tickets for the Sunderland game because there's six of us going to the Sunderland game so we're going to try and get tickets together. So I'm just waiting for Alex to pick him up. So I just thought I'd do my introduction now to tonight's game. Plymouth Argyle versus Gillingham. A massive game. Uh, obviously tensions spilled over uh, the, other the other day against Burton where we lost 3-2. Derek Adams calling the fans uh, yobs and the atmosphere poisonous. So uh, not great times at the moment. A uh, club statement was put out this morning saying fans need to kind of stick together and they won't take abuse. Now, I don't think there's been much abuse. I just think the fans have been airing their opinions, but that's something that you know people can discuss and have opinions on. So uh, comment what you think uh, of the current situation. What do you think? Are the fans entitled to voice their opinions? I don't know. As long as they do it in a good way, I don't see a problem. So back to the football. Tonight we play Gillingham, who haven't been on a great run. Now they drew 3-3 with Doncaster the other day. Uh, obviously, Tom Eves, their number nine, big target man, always bangs them in against Argyle, scored a hat-trick uh, on the last day of the season against us, so he's going to be dangerous. So if we don't be on top of our game, if the defence doesn't play well, then I can see him scoring at least one tonight. But tonight is a massive game. We must win. Now, I'm going to get behind the team, and I think all the other fans should get behind the team no matter what because they really need that win tonight. So saying that, I'm going to be optimistic, and I'm going to go for a 2-1 Argyle win, and we need it desperately. Now, whatever we think about Adams, we just need to try and put to the side tonight and just try and get the lads over that line. If we lose, though, again, I cannot stick by Adams at all. So anyway, i got to wait for Alex. Um, he's not going tonight because he's going up to Liverpool, uh, getting away for a little bit, so maybe we'll have a little chat with him in a minute when we go get the Sunderland tickets to see what he thinks about the whole situation. And then you'll see me later on with Rich and Sean at Home Park. So see you in a bit, guys. Thank you for tuning in. Keep it green. Hello guys, we just got back from Home Park, got the Sunderland tickets, uh, God knows why we're doing this to ourselves, but uh, we are. Anyway, so just dropped Alex back, and um, although Alex isn't going to be there tonight at the game, uh, make sure you watch the vlog, um, we're just going to get some of his thoughts on the current situation, the club's statement this morning, which I've already had my opinions on, and also he was there the other day, so maybe tell us a bit more about that supposed yobbish behaviour. So, Alex, over to you, what do you think Hi, about this? Um, I just think there's a real disconnect at the moment between the fans, players, management. Making out that it was toxic the other day, I just didn't see any evidence of that. There was people applauding the players off. Um, I disagree with that, but each everyone has their opinion. Um, but there was definitely, there wasn't any coin throwing, anything like that. No evidence um, I just, suggests that. No, I, I just no. think basically there was people airing their discontent with what's going on. We've made our worst start in nearly 40 years. Um, the, the organisation from our defending is abysmal at the moment. Um, Ladipo the other day all right, scored two goals, but we're, we're clearly struggling with scoring goals as well. There's not much that's going right on and off the pitch. And as I know as Sam said many times before, I think Adams has done some good things for this club, but I just think, how can you carry on with what's, with what's going on at the moment? Like, I think we're going to be down by Christmas at this rate. Yeah. I mean, it's all right people saying that, oh, last year we managed to recover it, things like that, but this is a different set of circumstances. There's a different squad, and this is a different mindset through the club at the moment. They're not there's got the not character, that, No, there's not that same desire to win. No. Even when we concede a goal, it's just heads down, trudge mm. back to the, to the halfway line again. Yeah. So I think there's got to be change. Yeah, and let's not forget, we're paying customers, right? <laughs> this badge, right? This is Plymouth Argyle FC, all right? This ain't, this ain't, I don't know, Hickley Town, all right? So we fans mm. deserve better, right, than this. And now I'm not gonna stop booing. I'm not gonna stop with the, with the words, because Adams deserves them all. And it's a joke, isn't it? Yes, it is, yeah. Um, yeah, so, um, Love because we're very, we're very passionate, and the thing is, like, some people may sort of see this as kind of a bit of a your oh, video, yeah, a your bitch video, or we're we're sort of pushing the buttons too early. But the thing is, like, when you've been spending so much money on this club as we have the last few years, yeah. and like we've put in everything into this, it means a lot to us. Yeah. Like, we want the best for our club, and we we feel the best for our club is not being no. stuck at the foot of League One 
with a budget that's not up to standard. No. And actually a set of decisions that have been made with this club at the moment are not, not up to standard. No. We, we had a perfect platform last year, finishing seventh in this league, to be able to spend a bit of money, keep Sonny Braddy et al, and actually push on and try and push up to champion. At least consolidate another year in League One. We yeah. shouldn't, there's no way we should be back down this position. What was that key word? Progress? Progress, Adams? I want to see that progress. But we're not. So, just, yeah. Rubbish. I don't know. It's just... We just spent a good 80 quid on Sunderland tickets a minute ago. We, we do it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. This says it all, really. Yeah, so, I think. <laughs> going back to today, then. Obviously, you're not here today, Alex, but what yeah. do you think? It's crucial, isn't it? Well, massive game, isn't it? Chilling them, again, like Burton on Saturday. Not a great side. No. I mean, they've got this Eves up front that's always caused us problems. But I just don't have any faith in our defence at the moment to keep these people quiet. No. We, but, I don't know, but... I'm going to try and be optimistic and say we might be able to sneak a 2-1, um, but that's what I, I said, think I, th I think if another defeat, I don't see how we can carry on. No, another defeat, right? I guarantee you tonight the fans will air their opinion. So <laughs> deal with it. Okay then, guys. Well, thank you yeah. for. Uh, it may have seemed like another rant. Well, it was really, but that's just the state of affairs at yeah. this club at the moment. So enjoy your holiday away. Thank you very much. And yeah. we'll see and Alex. Hope for a positive result. Tonight. Yes, uh, we'll see Alex for the Sunderland game where. Uh, well, that could be another thing, you know. It will be interesting. Anyway, I will see you guys tonight at Home Park with Mr. Francis. Keep it green. Good evening, everybody. It is less than an hour to kick off, and we're in the car just at Central Park, ready to go in. Just picked up Rich. Hello, Rich. Hi, everyone. Now, we're just going to quickly get Rich's thoughts. We've already had my thoughts and Alex's thoughts on um, the current situation and today's match. So before we get into the match... Um, Rich, what do you think about um, obviously the Burton game? You were there at full time. The supposed yobbish and toxic behaviour, and also the club's um, statement this morning. What's your thoughts? Uh, the thing on Saturday, I managed to see part of what happened. Yeah. I got it on camera, and there were a lot of booing with the player when they them off, but that was just a disappointment. Yeah. Of losing by another set piece. Yeah. Uh, but fans surely are entitled to boo. That parcel of parcel football. Fan boo all the time. Yeah, I mean, if you're a manager in any job, you you have to come in for criticism, don't you, if you do something wrong? Yeah, normally, yeah. Like, well, uh, this manager got sat my bully, got the same thing that happened to Ardo. Yeah, what do you think about the uh, thing about the yobs that he said? Uh, well, on that bit, there were a lot of... But what I just see is a lot of land with him went at him. But again, is that that's just I I would say that tempers flared. That's no different to any other club. Man United fans were probably swearing at Mourinho. Yeah. Yeah. I don't I don't know. Bit like what happened with Man U doing that bowing that happened before the new dash would do. Do you also think that the statement this morning don't think that will help fans, will it? No, I don't think that will help at all. No. So for me, I just don't know. I just. I don't get this whole yobbish thing because at the end of the day, fans are tired to say what they want to say. We pay the money and, you know, like I said earlier, have to deal with it. But anyway, on to tonight's game. I've already given my thoughts. I still think we'll win 2-1. Rich, who do you think the main threat is? What do you think Adams will do? What's going to happen? I very will be tonight. Especially with Tommy that front. We, ours, we oh, don't defend yeah. set pieces for life at us. No. You've got to go for it for minute one? Top two, but I don't see it. No? So what's your final prediction then? I see us losing 2-0. Ooh, 2-0 loss? Mm. Rich is usually the most optimistic out of the bunch. So I'm very surprised to see him think we're going to lose. Yeah, I hate doing that. I really no. hate it. But but what I see, well, we may get a duel back later with Freddie. I thought he would be our best player on Saturday. Yeah. So you're going to go for a 2-0 loss? 2-0, 2-1, but I don't see us winning, though. No. Sad times indeed. Okay, we'll see you at the ground in about an hour's time. I'll try my best to get some highlights, if you can call them highlights. And uh, hopefully we'll get a goal or two for the Green Army. So see you up there. Keep it green. See you later. Green Army. <laughs> Okay, we're just underneath, uh, waiting uh, to take our seats. Just met Mr. Fallick. So, Sean, what's your thoughts on all this yobbish behaviour and also the result tonight? Um, yobbish behaviour, I think it's a joke. Well, yeah. well you were one of them, probably, weren't you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was one of them. What were you doing that was so yobbish? I don't know. 
just being yourself. Yeah. Fair enough. Anyway, what do you think about today's uh, match, Sean? Hopefully, get on the top. Right. So, what do you reckon it will be? Give us a prediction. Two one. Two one, Argo. That's what I said. Alex said, but Mr. France over here said we'd lose two nil. Yeah. So, uh, so you. You're going to be behind the team tonight. And what if we lose? You're going to be having your Adams or not? You're going to be civil. Yeah. Okay. All right. Good. Um, guys, it's we'll not see Adam's you. Fault. It, well, it's it is. The money. Okay, but he still his attitude stinks, Sean. Sure. It's a nice spy, but he needs the money. Right. Okay. We will uh, agree to disagree. Okay. We'll see you at kickoff. Green Army. Go, on, Green Army. Guys, let's go. Oh, this him, you know, he'll do. Oh, First chance. That's the thing, they're, they're, they're tall, aren't they, Rich? Very tall. Physical presence. And first down for Tom Eves. Yeah. Tom Eves. That's and what we said. And I mean, I'll be tall now, I've done my own. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and then I've got no tall in there. I don't know when I fit I think. Yeah. Come on, I've got to defend this. Well done. Come on, then, let's go on, boys. Yeah. Come on, free kick. Bend it up for her. Yeah, but it's good for a left foot here. Look, look at the position of the ball. Yeah. Oh my god, what a load of rubbish! Villa women back in the playoffs. Yeah. Impressive. Come on, Joe. Do you reckon you'd be allowed out at the pub for the uh, Villa Birmingham game on the Sunday? I don't know. Maybe. I'm going to go watch it. Because yeah, I can't go to the actual game. So. Uh, at Birmingham, isn't it? No, Villa Park. Oh, Villa Park, ah. Uh. But we've got them in March away. And the day they're this season. Yeah!
Come on, come on, boys. Let's not concede straight after scoring. Dead Tommy. So, so far, so good. Let's hope we can keep it up the second half. You agree, Rich? Pretty good? Yeah, I was a boy by the night idea. Oh, yeah. Especially if it's on the jump and that left back, that yeah. was a boy as a move. He's done well, to be fair to him. Yeah, one of the Are you sure on good? Yeah. Really good. So, let's keep it up. We'll see you second half. Come on, you agree. Go on then. Shout 
for a pen then, but not too sure. We'll let Freddie have his hat trick then if he maybe won it. <laughs> Yeah. 
Adams has uh, saved his skin for the week. Oh no! boys. That's much better. Come on. Get in there. Oh, oh, go. Oh, go. Oh, go. Come on. Let's set that as a benchmark now. Come on, boys. Move. I bet Adam thinks, thank fuck for that. <laughs> Get in there. Wait, go out of here, fuck. Come on! Just got out of the stadium. Again, we are looking really happy. Really it is 3 1 to Plymouth Argo. Fantastic performance tonight. Everyone is happy leaving the stadium, <laughs> aren't they, Rich? Oh, yeah, very happy. Awesome. Tonight. You happy, Sean? Wicked, yeah. Good. So, when we get in the car, we'll do some more reaction on the way back. As we always do, off to the chippy for Rich's ships. So, we'll Am talk I? about it in a minute. But, fantastic result. We'll talk a little bit about the match and my thoughts on Adams. Not much has changed on him, but we'll get to the football in a minute. So see you in a bit. Come on, you greens. Hello again, guys, and welcome back to the last part of today's vlog. So we're just outside Mum's, just dropping Rich home um, before I go back home myself. So today, Plymouth Argyle 3, Gillingham 1. So I wasn't too far off saying 2-1. I'm going to be honest, today we played really, really well. We played fantastic football, we kept the ball on the floor. Freddie Ladapo was really good today, got two goals. Um, the whole team just seemed like they wanted it more today. They were making tackles, they were playing like a team. They were showing desire, which got the fans on side as well. And I give them all credit. I said I would support the team tonight, and I did that. And most people did that as well, and we won. In terms of the Adams situation, not, not all's forgiven, you know, he still shouldn't have said what he said last week. However, he didn't need to come out again and do that tonight, but he obviously wanted the win for himself to get the fans back on side and he's gone a little way to doing that. If we can keep playing like that, the fans will be won back. So Rich, a very great night. What did you think about today? I oh, burst in these apart by the night. Wasn't yeah. Wasn't back in that. Because you were the least confident out of all of us, weren't you? Yes, and something I'm not normally am. What do you think was the difference tonight? What did we do differently? I think tactically, what well, I know, I have a funny idea what we were doing, but whatever tactic were, it worked. Yeah, they just wanted it more tonight, didn't they? And Jonathan at left back were amazing. Yeah, we, we moaned about yeah. that. Connor Grant at left back, Adams doing what Adams does best, changing people's positions, but worked tonight, so fair play. Yeah. Fair play to Adam yeah. with Jonathan. Freddie Ladapo now scored four goals in two games. Two games, so on form. Yeah. Yeah. If we keep having him like that, yeah. We in, we out, we let them out a tenty plus two to us. Yeah, and Gillingham looked pretty poor for, really. I think they'll be down the bottom this season. Um bit of revenge for our awful trip uh, <laughs> yeah. to Gillingham. That was a oh. day to forget, wasn't it? A long trip. Yeah, it was a long trip. So <laughs> so any Gillingham fans watching, hope you're enjoying watching this on the coach back. So, um, yeah, so next two games, Scunthorpe away on Saturday, tough game, not good record there. Nah, I don't, we're all way back to all season being sucked in, so yep. I really don't see a bit in the front no. right away. I'll take a draw there, and then in a week and a half's time, which will be vlogged, Argyle versus Sunderland, arguably our biggest home match of the season. Oh yeah, a Matt, I don't wait to walk. No, so again, very tough game, but if we can go into it after today and maybe a positive route on Saturday, 
hopefully the crowd will be back and we will uh, you know put the performance in that game and you never know so it's fun I was saying to Rich earlier football can change like that the mood of a fan so yes so a slightly longer vlog today but I don't think anyone will be complaining because it's a positive result and everyone is going home happy so you will see us again uh, for Argyle versus Sunderland on November the 3rd in a week and a half's time and then the week after that my favourite time of the year, back to FA Cup action. So you'll see us for Plymouth Argyle versus Stevenage as well. So lots of content coming this month on this channel. So everybody raise a gl green glass tonight. Very good result. Um, and we will see you next time for Argyle versus Sunderland. Keep it green. Get in there. Brilliant night. Let's hope we keep it to a... Fantastic. Well said. Goodbye. Green RME.